It would be a rather fi finer hose. Mm -hmm. then, then it'd be a smaller stream of bubbles, so it'd be more consistent. I don't have to worry about that with the car, though. Because well, not with the car, no. I'm just saying for the demonstration. Yeah. Huh? The hydrogen unit. No. I don't like to let it go too long because it makes a big explosion. It rather scares me quite a bit. <laughs> Soap in the water? Oh yeah. So it bubbled up. Made a big pile of bubbles. Ignited them all at once. And that was kaboom. Like I felt like my whole body just shake. He's taking video. I didn't even know that. Damn. <laughs> that stuff's got so much extreme quick. Yeah, it fires so fast. It's, it's fun. Combustion is really quick. Probably really complete, too. Mm-hmm. Like, you can't smell it. It doesn't smell like anything. How much heat does it produce? I guess you can't tell when you're going to feel the heat of the torch instead. Mm-hmm. And your mileage increased. Yeah, I've just gotten, gotten an accurate check, yeah. But, but. The one check you did, though, you're running, what was it, 20-something? I got about... 26 or so? About average on a city and highway? Four miles per gallon, but that wasn't a whole trip. It was wasn't, an, <laughs> wasn't an accurate check, it was either. Yeah. I better check out that other bubbler. I want to try to see what amperage and volts you're running. Yeah. Okay. You're running. You're still under 15 amps. Yep. It's off. Oh man. That's that's some crazy stuff. Don't take the tube out of the water yet. You think? <laughs> you think? Boom! Like moonshine. <laughs> seen anything like that since That's right. We homebrew everything, don't we? Yep. Speaking of which, I'm supposed to bring some homebrew beer home up there with me. So, I will. The neat part is most, this was probably empty now. This hydrogen is lighter than the air. It just floats right out and dissipates. And that's a wrap. Yes, it is nice. <laughs>